are semaglutide side effects killing you or at least being super annoying i'm talking about the nausea i'm talking about the reflux i'm talking about constipation i'm talking about fatigue you're not alone we got solutions for you though we're going to dive into some practical clinically approved strategies that you can use to tackle these unwanted side effects get some relief let's get started Hey guys, I'm Dr. Carter with Modern Body Clinic. We are experts in weight loss and semaglutide is a medication that we use. What is semaglutide? It is a FDA approved medication that is used both for weight loss, but originally it was for diabetes. Now, how it works, what it does is make your insulin work better so that our blood sugar doesn't go as high. Another thing it does is decrease your appetite and it does that by two ways one is acting directly on the brain but also it slows the gut down and that leads to some of the nasty side effects well not nasty but definitely unwanted one of those side effects is nausea what can we do about nausea three different strategies one is to eat smaller meals more frequent this is going to help your stomach digest easier but also if you're eating foods that are not as spicy but more bland that's going to help too sometimes we find it difficult to stay hydrated when we're feeling nauseous and so one strategy you can use is instead of trying to uh, guzzle a bunch of water or whatever drinking but also making it ice cold that's going to help and really avoiding beverages that are extra sugary or fatty what about GERD or reflux that can be a tough one it could be super annoying but what you can do about it actually similar to nausea smaller meals more frequent also we want to avoid things that are fatty spicy that can really irritate the stomach too things that are carbonated also can irritate the stomach lining and give us reflux and actually nausea too and that's what we can do as far as diet part strategy wise again smaller meals but also avoiding lying down right after you're eating because that will have the stomach acid more easier. That'll allow the stomach acid to go into the esophagus easier and cause the symptoms. Something else you can do if you're noticing this more is to elevate the head of your bed. Again, that is going to bring the stomach acid down and less likely to go into the esophagus. And if all else fails, we can try some medication for that side effect. It could be simple as something over the counter, some anti-acids. If it's really getting bad, then definitely talk to your provider about it. Now, what about about constipation and semaglutide. This one's tough. We actually have a video on the channel specifically for that, but you the short and skinny of it is what I suggest to most of my clients is increase the fiber intake. It's going to help with weight loss anyway, but constipation also is going to help. Foods that are rich in fiber include lots of fruits like berries, really have a high fiber content, certain vegetables, garbanzo beans are a really good source of fiber, asparagus, these are great sources of fiber, so try that. Now, another thing is to stay hydrated. Dehydration is definitely going to make constipation more likely. And then exercise. Exercise, actually, or movement is going to help keep things moving. And as a last resort, we can use something over-the-counter, a laxative. Something that is gentle is going to be safer. So these are not stimulating medications like Colace or Senna. They simply just bring water into the colon. It makes it easier for a bowel movement to happen. But what about fatigue? Fortunately, most people don't have this issue, but some people do. What do you do about it? One of the things I advise people is to make sure they're actually eating enough calories. No, seriously, you want to make sure you're bringing enough calories. You want to make sure it's balanced as well. If you don't have enough calories, then it's obviously going to be hard to have enough energy. Along with that is exercising. Exercise actually will help boost your energy levels. We want to make sure we're doing that. Another part is sleep and rest. Notice you want to make sure you get enough sleep and rest. It's going to be important in maintaining your energy levels. And then last but not least is managing your stress with this. That is important for energy levels too. So whether it's yoga, it could be meditation, it could be using breathing techniques. And if you don't know any of those, it could just be you sitting somewhere for 20 minutes, not doing anything at all, including on your phone, doing social media or doing a side thing that is best mental energy. Absolutely. 20 minutes of nothing would definitely bring down your cortisol levels and help manage the stress. Those are some things that we can do to manage those symptoms. But what if you're still having symptoms or what if they're getting worse and more severe? If you are having nausea and you're vomiting to the point that you can't keep food now, you need to talk to your provider and get some help. If you tried everything, it's a week, starting having stomach pain and you have not had a bowel movement, you need help, call your provider. Over-the-counter stuff is probably not going to work at this point. Any side effect, whether it's the ones we just talked about or other things that you've noticed since you started medication, if it's becoming severe or you think that it is not right, talk to your provider. Something else might be going on. If you've had any side effects and you try something I didn't suggest that worked well, 
please comment below so other people can get that knowledge. And if you need help losing weight, check out our free mini course below. It is to help people lose weight without starving. Well, I hope you found this helpful. If you want to hear more info like this, please subscribe. Otherwise, check out one of these videos on weight loss.